Hey there, welcome to our pick segment as we get you ready for the Farmers Insurance Open. Ryan Estelt alongside Sean Zock and the big guy's back. Tiger Woods, Sean, makes his return to his first full field PGA Tour event in just about a year since last year's Farmers. He'll be on the course at Torrey Pines. Let's get to our picks. Who do you like this week at Torrey? Yeah, I don't think either of us are picking Tiger. Right. We're going to pick other people. I'm going with Mark Leishman. He was probably the hottest player in the world back in October, November, and he's Probably one of the hotter players coming into the Farmers. He's got three top tens there in his career. He's a really safe bet. If you're going to use him any time of year, this is probably the time of year to do it. All right, I like that. I'm going with Brant Snedeker. Finally, this guy is healthy. He had this weird sternum joint injury last year, and he shut it down after August. We didn't see him again until the Shark shootout, where he played pretty well. I, I think he's back. This is the 2016 Farmers champion. He finished ninth last year. He was second in 2013. Loves the course, feeling good again. I think it's the start of a big year for Brant Snedeker. How about a guy, uh, a little more value, a longer shot this week at Torrey Pines? Yeah, a guy makes a lot of birdies is Tony Finau. Long player. John Rahm won last year. He's a really long player. They kind of have similar games. Tony Finau, I believe, top five at last year uh, at, at the Farmers. So he's been playing great golf since September. You'd probably just be doing yourself a disservice by keeping him off your roster. Yeah, I feel like Tony Finau's ready to break through. A guy I'm looking forward to for value and a guy who could finally break through for the first win since 2007 is Charles Howell III. This guy finished second last year. He has two top fives in the last three Farmers and three top tens in the last five Farmers. So he likes this golf course, and uh, he hasn't won in over 10 years now. It's about time. He's it's too good of a golfer not to be in the winner's circle. I like Charles Howell with a bit of value this week. How about a guy you say, uh-uh, I'm staying away from? Well, not necessarily stay away. Just be wary of Justin Rose because he's playing over in the European, on the European Tour event in Abu Dhabi this past weekend. So he's kind of been at least a little bit of jet lag going on in his life. He didn't play at Farmers last year. I just think that he's going to be really costly for anyone that's trying to play him in fantasy. Yeah, we know that trip is long. Tiger made that trip back and forth last year and hurt his back. I'm going to stay away from Ricky Fowler this week. And it, when you look at it, it doesn't make sense. This is a guy who grew up less than an hour from the golf course. He's sponsored by Farmers Insurance, and he just won the Hero World Challenge. But he's missed three of the last four cuts at Torrey Pines, and that other finish was a 61st. I just don't think Ricky likes the golf course at this point in his career. I say stay away from Ricky Fowler. That's going to do it for our pick segment. Enjoy the Farmers Insurance Open. He's Sean. I'm Ryan. We'll see you next week.